Hey y'all, this is the collector on the corner, Debbie. And uh, Randall had a run in with another minx and it killed like 12 of his uh, pigeons over here. So he set a whole bunch of traps and I see he caught it. Uh, he was really ticked off. We, we don't abide with the critters killing our critters. And the poor chickens, thankfully they're all right. But we did have something uh, grab one of them by the leg and pull it through the wire floor, which I didn't think was a good idea, but Randall thought it was a good idea. But I thought the check should have been smaller, but nah, that's a whole nother story. Uh, so anyway, uh, he's got the meat took care of and the poor pigeons. Of course, it got most of the white ones. It seems to like the pretty ones, maybe because he can just see them real good at night. But anyway, uh, uh, Randall's dragged this here wagon down. He's going to take over to our son, uh, Ben, because he uh, is going to let him have it. And I think it's a pretty cool wagon. I think, actually, I could haul it behind my little car, but I don't know if he would let me. Besides, I ain't got the money to fill it up with groceries anyway. Jeepers creepers. Take a lot of dough to fill it up with the, with the groceries. <laughs> Somebody did a terrible job there, probably Randy. <laughs> I'll blame it on him. Yeah, looks like they did some torching. But anyway, ooh, looks like somebody tried to take the tar off. Me knows. Hi, Mr. Miss Goose. And here's Randy's truck. He was driving it earlier. And he's got his big long saw for that firewood that is longer than, I don't know, pretty dang long. And he's over there. He can't hear me, but he's working on a tar. But that's okay, because I don't need to bother him anyway. He's uh, busy working. And looks like he cut up some wood. So we'll have firewood tonight. Because the firewood pile is zero. And uh, yeah, I think Randall's losing in the firewood uh, department. Oh, there's one of Randall's shirts. So when he starts wondering where his long sleeve shirts are, I can uh, tell him, go look at a video. You'll see where your shirt's at. But anyway, I... Ain't got much to say. Just wanted to say Randy's uh, out here working on tars. He's always working on tars. I don't know why he just don't go take some of his hard-earned money and go buy him some tars. But he's like, no, I've got plenty. And then he puts a tar on and it goes flat and I get to laugh at him. <laughs> Sometimes it's flat before morning. <laughs> I know, shouldn't laugh. Nothing! Nope, not making no video. I'm just over here looking at this here trailer. You, you just keep doing what you're doing. Rats, the jig is up. He found me. This World War II bomb trailer. I know. It was with Pat, third army. Uh huh. Was you, was you there too? I don't think so. Uh huh. Some farmer had, had had tailgate welding shut. Oh. I cut loose. Yeah, and you did a lousy job. And there's a piece of steel in the bottom, and uh -huh. I cut that out. These uh -huh. here, uh huh. Little brackets was so they could strap them bombs down where they wouldn't be rolling around. Cheapers. Anyway, 
I wouldn't be. this blackout taillight? I wouldn't even be anywhere close to this sucker. Blackout taillight? If you call that one, I call it yeah. one they forgot to put in. No, it's a blackout taillight. Whatever. Anyway. Uh-huh. I'm going to take his over to our oldest son's house. Yes, I done told I'm him gonna that. I'm going to load on a trailer. Uh-huh. And I'm working on his... His what? Power wagon. Oh, okay. Come here. No. I'll show what I'm doing. No, you're, you're come, fixing come tires. Come no, come I. Here. this is my video. It's a short video, and I'm saying goodbye and... What? I'll show his power wagon around. Oh, jeepers. I don't mean to laugh, it's just, you're funny. Oh my God, there's nothing to that tar. Split ring rim. Off my power wagon. And I don't know why, but it had these stuck on it. Uh-huh. See, there's some there. I don't know what them are. That's the first time, first time I ever run into them. I don't uh, know what them are. I don't know, keepers, I guess. Keep them so, on. Keep them anyway, on. This whole tower has been on here so long. Yeah. You're going to burn it off? No, I just put old used motor oil. Well, on I was going to say, I forgot my and matches. Let it, let it sit for a while and it'll help soften that rubber a little. Yes, it will. And I kind of lubricate it up and let my tar beating tool. Uh huh. Hold looks on like there. you've cut it off. But see, here's, here's the outer part of that tire. It, it looks like you cut it off, didn't you? Did you no, it was all fell apart. That's how it I looked? I put a little bit on it. Jeepers. It was all fell apart. There's a, <laughs> there's a deal. You can read the yeah, I numbers see. on it. Was a yeah, good, good year. year. Wow. It's day. Wow. But anyway, that's, that's what I'm doing. Was you ironing stuff when you was out here? I see you got a couple arms. Uh, I was using that iron to heat up some uh, boot cement. I was oh. kind of vulcanizing a, on a tire. Oh. I don't know whether it'll work or not, but I was, I was doing it. Okay. Okay. Experiment. Okay. Good experiment. Anyway, I've been fixing tires. That's all you do? Tire to tires. Uh, I've got four on my truck to hold there, and i got a spare that'll hold there. For now. For the moment. For uh -huh. the moment. I mean, all day long. I've checked them. There's still 60 pounds in them. Oh, boy. Still 60 pounds this spare. You mean checking them didn't take away a couple of pounds? I couldn't find my tire pass glue. <laughs> you you my, lost my, your tire pass glue again? No. So. Oh, it was in your underwear I went drawer. I the house, and Debbie <laughs> said something about it. She said, it's in your Daddy had glue to something with some kind of glue. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It had to been my tar brush, but a little can of that. It's expensive. It's about 14 bucks. It's expensive, yeah. So I had to go to the parts store and pay another 14 bucks for another little can of tar patch glue. But I, I put it up in I, But he hid it and he couldn't find it, and I told him it's in your underwear drawer. So yeah. he got yeah. in his underwear so drawer. And I brought it in. There I it was. I, did, so I stuck it in the underwear drawer for a little while. Yeah. So I've got it locked up in there in a, in a file cabinet. Yes. I, might not I find like the, your fashion. I might not find the key to that file cabinet. I like your fashion statement. Yeah. You don't know if you're uh, red or blue. I've got another pair of shoes somewhere <laughs> just like these, but they're for the other opposite feet. Uh, really? I'll <laughs> yeah, be darned. They're for the opposite. Feet. Okay. Well, I guess that we'll say goodbye and good luck to you. And yeah. Good, goodbye and good luck to you. And I sure appreciate everybody subscribed. The last time I looked, I was at. Uh, 981, but I've been to 980 two or three times and then dropped back <laughs> down to 979, 978, and back and forth. I don't know if YouTube's unsubscribing people. I think people, they're unsubscribing because you were just, you were unsubscribed to a couple pe of people, people and, and people had to like resubscribe. Joining Debbie being mad because I went 400 miles from a chainsaw. <laughs> I don't know, but you know. Well, you know, well, you around. you never go 400 miles for me. How's that sound? I would too. <laughs> I'd if have I to be to if, ride 50, 60 Pontiac. No, I'm talking about I'd have to if, be carrying a chainsaw. If I'd a ride 60 Pontiac, I'd uh -huh. go five, six, seven hundred miles to get it. 
If it's really? right car to right price, I would. Really? Oh, wow. You hear that, everyone? Have you got a, a 60 Pontiac Catalina four-door? Cheap? Price got to be right. Yeah, price got to be right. Well, it's anyway. Be what I can afford. <laughs> yeah, what we can afford. And, and uh, I went grocery shopping, so we can't afford much. <laughs> Not until, until the third Wednesday of the month. <laughs> well, anyway, goodbye and good luck to y'all. And thank you for watching. And please like and subscribe and comment below. And share with your friends. Bye.